Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Larissa Negrete. If you don't know who I am, I have a fitness account and the link is always in the description box below. Today's video is going to be a hair transformation video. I'm getting a haircut and you guys are probably like, okay, who cares? But you can't really tell right now because my hair is in a bun, but I'm doing the intro a day before so that I'm not like rushing in the morning um, to do it. By the way, do you guys see this like huge like crater on my face? It hurts like a son of a gun. Um, but anyways, um, Tink, you okay? Tink? My dog, she like made a noise. <laughs> She's okay. Um, anyways, so I know you guys are probably like, okay, who cares if you're getting a haircut? My hair is about like right here. I have curly hair, long curly hair. And it uh, has highlights, it's kind of light, brown. I'll probably show you tomorrow what it looks like, how long it is. Um, but I'm chopping it all off. I mean, I am going short, 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 and I'm going dark. Um, my birthday is in a couple weeks. Um, I'm turning 22, and uh, I just want a new start. Um, I'm going to be moving soon, and I just want to start a new look. Um, and yeah, so if you guys want to keep on watching before you continue, if you guys could please hit the button that looks like this. Subscribe to the channel. Let's grow our little family. And um, don't forget to go check my check out my Instagram. I post a lot more on there. This is actually the most I've ever filmed in a week, so I'm honestly super proud of myself, and I hope you are too. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Today's the day. Um, it is now Saturday. I am going to be on my way to cut off all of this hair. Basically, I think I'm probably taking off all this. Um, I'm looking at my hair right now and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because it looks good today, super long. But I'm already, I am already decided I'm cutting it all off, so we'll see how this goes. But I'll show you guys what my hair looks like. So this is how long it is, right about here, and it gets to about right here. Show, I'm chopping it all off. Um, I guess I'm starting to get nervous, but I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to head out because I have my appointment at 10.30 and it's 9.30, so I have about an hour. It's 30 minutes away, so I have about 30 minutes before I have to leave. Okay, I'm about to leave. Just wanted to show my fit though. So I'm wearing just like a long sleeve crop with my barbell um, sweats that I wear all the freaking time. I have these in a size medium because I like a looser fit. Anytime I get it, I can fit into a small, but they just don't, they're just, they look like leggings and I want my sweats to be sweats. So I don't know if you can tell. Right there's like a little, I'm gonna go in the light because you can't really tell. There you go. There's like the Barbell Brigade little logo. And someone left something on my car. What the hell was that? Anyways. But that's my fit for the day. Code Laddie in the description box below. If you guys want to go get some sweats like these, they have really cute ones. I just ordered like the gray ones from the most recent launch because I love sweats. I love anything legging. I ordered myself them. So, and I know, um, which actually I think is so crazy. I didn't even talk about. Um, Billy, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyways. Okay, I promise I'm gonna keep my eyes on the road. You guys are gonna be like, you guys are riding with me, like you're my friends. Um, I didn't even get to talk about it. Um, so last video that I posted was basically, I am officially a um, affiliate of Barbell Brigade. So Barbell Brigade, for those who didn't watch the video before, I think if you follow my Instagram or just know me at all, I'm wearing Barbell Brigade 24-7, like it's not even cap, like 
no cap here at all. I am someone who has loved the brand, loved the owners for a really long time. Um, and because I'm a smaller influencer, you know, dreams and always like, you know, when you see people like Gymshark or if you see people like Alphalete and you're like, oh my God, I wish I could work with those brands, you know, you see these athletes and stuff. And don't get me wrong, like, I mean, I was like, oh, working with Gymshark, working with Alphalete, that would be fucking sick. But obviously you want to be able to work with a group of people and a brand that you actually like full on um sorry i'm like focusing um that you full on um support and i support i mean i like uh gymshark but it, i'm not like the biggest fan like i'll buy like stuff here and there like i literally haven't bought something for like maybe three years from them um and then Alphalete, I love Alphalete, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, but I guess the point that I'm trying to say is like you see these brands that are bigger and you're like, oh, I wish I could work with them. That'd be so cool. Um, and so I always kind of, and all my friends literally can vouch for me. I was always like, I fuck with Barbell Brigade so heavy um, just because they're just a group of people who are just so down to earth and are just so fucking dope like that's the best way i can describe them basically is that they are just dope people who make dope clothes and have a dope ass gym and i've been to the gym out there in la and it's such a like if you for those who know what i'm talking about you know when there's a vibe in a gym like and I guess it doesn't really happen that much in like commercial gyms, at least in commercial gyms, you know, everyone has their headphones in and you're in your own vibe, right? But there's like something about gyms that, you know, everyone like the music's playing really loud in there and they don't really give a, f like they're not like commercial gyms and they're not playing like, you know, um, like Pharrell Williams shit. Like they're playing like, uh, <laughs> they're playing fucking um, hard ass shit. like whether whatever the feeling in the gym is i guess i don't know if i'm making sense to be honest but i feel like some people are gonna know like there's a gym um in um tempe that some of my friends uh go and work out at and one of my friends works at and um they are like the same vibe as Barber Brigade. It's a smaller community, it's a smaller gym, it's not as big as a commercial gym. You're not gonna see a bunch of machines lined up. You're gonna see a lot of squat racks, a lot of deadlift um, like platforms. You're gonna see, um, it's just smaller. And it's a smaller community and the vibe in there is different. You just have to really like go and be, at, um, you really have to go and um, experience it yourself to know what I'm talking about but let me tell you the vibe in a gym like that when you are lifting is so chef's kiss like literally like when I was out there lifting in Barbell Brigade I felt like I could fucking PR I don't know what dead ass like I like everyone's just there to better themselves everyone's there to fucking kick ass and and then that's that's the environment I love so um back to what the hell i was saying because i always ramble like a son of a bitch um i am now part of barbell brigade which is crazy to me um i'm in like a tryout period so i'm like manifesting that i am going to be like fully like um permanently a part of it um I, I, I still get giddy because it's only been a few days um, But I just want to come on here and for those I know those who are you know who supported me who used my code are watching this right now And you guys are so fucking sick for doing that like everyone who's used my code I did not expect to have such a good start like within the first two days like first of all family is fucking there for me and friends are fucking there for me like I guess I have more than I don't know it's just super cool and um, like I said I do have to work for it like right now I'm an affiliate but I do want to become an ambassador there's a difference and oh my gosh guys like I am just so incredibly like happy that I have the opportunity to do this but ugh, I'm not gonna go too much into this right now I just wanted to say thank you to everyone um, um, I was gonna say something else but yeah the link is in the description box um, thank you to everyone who bought anything and I know this video isn't about that so I'm gonna stop rambling about it um, I got I got about 20 minutes before I'm at the um, hair salon I'm gonna ask the girl oh, I'm not gonna say the girl I'm gonna ask Abby because she's my hairstylist um, if it's okay if I record um, this place I'm going to is called um, Omni curls 
Um, Omni Curls is for girls with curly hair. Um, she has like a certification in like cur like cutting curly hair, I believe. And um, cutting curly hair is a lot different than what people really think. Um, when I was younger, they would like, I think everyone knows like what, if you have straight hair or people who, you know, girls, you know you got your hair cut. You go to the, get a haircut and they fucking wet your hair and they pull it and they cut it, right? And uh, me and my sister would always get fucked because whenever they like would um, stretch out our hair and cut it, um, our hair would curl up and just be a lot shorter than what we had anticipated. And, be and granted, we didn't realize that, you know, that's not good for your curly hair. You know what I mean? So fast forward, like, I don't know how many years, I've stumbled across this, like, thing called a diva cut. And my sister ends up getting a diva cut, and they cut your hair to um, dry. So your curly hair, you go in, and they'll cut your curly hair dry. They'll teach you how to wash it. There's actually a way to wash curly hair, believe it or not. And how many times you're supposed to wash it a week, which is only one. And it's really hard when you work out five days a week because you're like, fuck, I, like, like my hair is like nasty but I want to wash it so they teach you different ways to um, keep it hygienic and or like have good hygiene I mean and stuff like that so this girl that I went to so I started off at one salon right and then they were always booked so I looked up and you can look up so the girls who have curly hair you can look up online diva curl hairstylist and that will show you who in your area is certified um, who is a certified hairstylist diva curl hairstylist and can cut your hair and it'll show you if they're level one through level three right and level three is obviously like you get they have more experience in um cutting curly hair um sorry if that looked really ugly like that lighting but anyway so fast forward i'm at urban bloom and i really liked urban bloom because of the girl that i met a abby and Abby's just so down to earth. She's my hairstylist. She's my therapist when I go. She's everything, right? And she just was so down to earth, asked me what I wanted, made my hair. Like, I had always wanted to dye my hair. And she just dyed it, like, perfect on the first try. Like, granted, I had already, like, um, basically grown out my hair. And it was completely, like, virgin hair at that point. Because I used to, like, box dye and shit. And I had orange hair at one point, like, my best friend Suhei knows the trauma I've gone through with my fucking hair and wanting to be like close to a blonde but I never got there because I was scared and I met Abby and Abby really 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 fixed my hair like she made it look so pretty so light so like that's like literally I love the color my hair is right now don't get me wrong but I've had it for about two years now and I'm kind of tired and I used to be the type of person who like wake up and be like I want red hair and I had red hair that day you know what I mean so your girl's tired and she wants to have something new. I haven't cut my hair short in about three years. So, and my hair grows out um, relatively quickly. So, I don't really care. Like, I really hope, like, <laughs> I don't cut to, like, having, like, a crying session about how it's so short and I hate it. But uh, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't, I don't care. I literally, three years ago when I cut my hair, it was so fucking ugly and so dead. Um, I could never imagine it looking this good like it is. But I have that to thank to Abby, the girl that I'm going to right now. So I'll see you guys at the um, hair salon. If she lets me record, I'm gonna record in there. Um, I just don't like to invade anyone's space. Um, it's just being a common, like having common courtesy. Like I hope everyone who like records and stuff just asks for permission, you know? Like, are you okay with me having this camera in your space? Cause it's just common courtesy. But yeah, so we'll see. If not, then you guys, the next clip is probably gonna just be me with my curly hair. Cut the fuck off. <laughs> All right, bye. All right. I hear it. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. We have the color in, and then I was looking at her little cards. Look how cute these are. Little business card. 
for those who want to know. So cute. I feel like I just keep doing this with my hair. I think it's so cute. Like the color. It is very pretty. I really like it. When you go out to the sun, you gotta take a shot. I know, huh? Um, hello! <laughs> my hair is gone. Look at that. I just keep doing this. I just keep doing this. It feels good. I love it. I literally, literally love it. I feel like I look so good. Look at that. Look at that. I probably shouldn't take off my glasses while I'm driving. Probably shouldn't be talking to you while I'm driving. So we're just gonna keep you like right there. That'll be that'll be good. I'm on my way home, but I actually think I'm gonna stop by my best friend's house so I can show her the fuckery that I did. I love it so much. Guys, if you guys could see, I'm probably putting I'm gonna put in a picture of all of my hair. I, that's not even all of my hair. All of my hair that was on the ground, it was so much hair, and my neck feels good I feel good I'm about to FaceTime my sister and show her what I look like because I really like it like my mom's probably gonna hate it um, I'm gonna fluff it out a little bit more because um, it's still like in the drying process and when it's drying it kind of makes like a little cast and you can feel it and then that's when you want to really scrunch it up and make it big but I don't know what do you guys think do you like it I do, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, I think Suhei is gonna fuck with it, but okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Suhei's mom's home, so I'm just gonna try to go in and see what her face says. Her mom. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, Have you seen my hair? <laughs> Hi. Super short. De atrás. No, queda bonito. Really? Te iba a decir, mira. Hello? Hello? Did you see oh, my... Sorry. Did you see my text message? Yes, I saw your text. I was like, oh, for a brief moment, I, I like, I have enough service. Like, show me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I chopped it off. Keep them closed. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, look at me. <laughs> what I do like you it. think? What do you think? I love it. It's so short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I love it. You can touch it if you want. You look like you keep wanting to touch it. <laughs> Why do you look like you? What do you think? Love it. Good. It's completely brown now. <laughs> yeah. It looks good. <laughs> well then, I've already showed everyone my hair, so I think that's the end of the video. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And yeah, see you next time. Bye. You say bye. Bye. <laughs>